Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the basics of digital planning on an Android tablet. So first off, you'll need a tablet with a stylus. I'm using the Samsung S7 tablet and the S Pen it comes with. So if you have something similar with access to the Google Play Store, you should be able to replicate these same steps. Next up, you'll need a PDF annotation app. My favorite for iOS is GoodNotes 5, but unfortunately it's not available outside the Apple Store. So I tried essentially all the similar apps available in the Play Store, and my favorite was NoteShelf. It's $9.99 and has a very similar interface and feels like you can accomplish a very similar result in your planner. All the digital planners and notepads available in my shop are PDF files, so they will open in any PDF annotation app. The only thing that isn't going to work outside of GoodNotes are sticker books because they are GoodNotes specific files. That being said, all the sticker sheets available in the shop come with individual PNG files that you can absolutely use on any device and I'll show you how. Okay, so now you just need a planner and you're ready to go. I'll show you the basics using the free planner I have available on my website. This is a great way to test out compatibility with your device and app of choice. It's really easy to download. You just need to sign up with your email and you'll receive an email with the password. And you can use that to access the freebie section of the website. I'll have the website linked in the description below if you're interested. Once you have the password, you can simply go to the freebie section and click to download. Then you want to hit download again. Now you can tap to open your file and open with NoteShelf and it will go ahead and import into your app. Now you can use the tools at the top to write in your planner. You have a pen tool you can use to customize your pen type, thickness, your pen colors. You can even add new colors and you can use the color selection tool here or hex codes so you can match your pens to your planner. Next up is your highlighter, which is very similar. You can customize your highlighter type, thickness, and pen color. Then you have an eraser tool. You have a few settings you can play with here as well. You also have a basic text tool, just double tap to type, and finally a lasso tool. You can use your lasso tool to select handwriting, text, and images to cut, copy, resize, or change color. These tools are gonna be the ones you use the most to achieve that real pen to paper feel, but in a digital planner. You've also got a shape tool, and if this is on, you'll be able to draw perfect shapes. You've also got a share button and a page button to see all of your pages and rearrange them. Be sure not to delete any linked pages that will alter the links in the rest of the planner. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to insert stickers. You can use this plus button on the left to add images or stickers saved as images to your planner. You can use images saved to your tablet or in your Google Drive or OneDrive. I hope this helps if you're thinking about trying digital planning on your Android device. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments. I'll be working on creating more Android content, so if you'd like some more digital planning content, follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Paper and Roses, and don't forget to like and subscribe here. Thank you so much for being here. Bye!